lag there is from when we go when we press the go live button to when you guys get to see us but happy happy thursday guys i hope you all are having a fantastic thursday morning in today's video we are playing around with our amazing amazing fonts i'm super excited to be able to craft along with you guys today to make this floor mat you can also do the same technique for a doormat or anything you would like to make today. Um, this is the kickoff of all of our projects. We're talking about using multiple different fonts together. Um, there's a lot of different projects and things you can do with our new fonts that launched at Maker's Gonna Learn this week. We have 84 to choose from right off the bat. If you guys are not already aware, we love to keep you guys informed. And we have a 20% off special going on this week. Which of course is a huge deal, right, Rachel? Uh, yeah. We love that. So as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from, let us know what you've got going on today. We cannot wait to get crafty. It's going to be a great crafty day, um, making a really quick and easy project. I love, love, love this idea for a housewarming gift. I love this for um, a holiday gift. Um, someone's, you know, anyone's getting in their first home. This is a great project because you can really it per family and that is what I love about using Cricut. You can get professional results um, at home which we love and the iron-on is going to do really well. We're going to give you some tips and tricks. We had um, not too many issues. You just want to give really good pressure on a floor mat like this because the fabric is so stiff and textured um, but we'll work, walk you through exactly how to make your very own in today's live stream. So Rachel who is Turning in, what do we got going on in the comments today? Tanner, we already have almost a hundred viewers, and everyone is saying where they're visiting from: um, Kentucky, Detroit, Virginia, Maryland, St. Louis, Mississippi, Utah. Everybody's coming. We've today. got people all across the country. Yes. I'm super excited. Well, guys, um, I know with this new setup, I have been wearing my glasses a lot, so I just want to let you all know: after today, Rachel, this is kind of big. Tell after me. today, I'm not gonna have to wear glasses or contacts, hopefully. Oh, yes. Um, yes. I'm having LASIK eye surgery today. Um, I'm going to leave shortly after this live stream, but I was like, we have to craft today because we can't miss out. So tomorrow, I probably have to recover all day. We probably yeah. won't be able to do a lot tomorrow. But right before this live, he made me watch a video of a LASIK eye <laughs> surgery. And I was like, Tanner, that's like the number one thing you're not supposed to do is watch a video of the surgery you're going to have. It, Am I right? Like, I don't, you're, you shouldn't. I don't know. It You'll was, sock yourself out. It, it's... It's fun. I, I kind of understand a little bit more about what they're going to do. And Tanner, like your that. mic keeps going out again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You guys are so good about informing uh, us about that. I don't know what to do. That's a They great... said it's cutting in and out. Cutting in and out. Does it sound muffled or is it just like Tanner talking, Tanner no talking? I don't know. Oh, Michael said LASIK was the best thing I ever did, Tanner. Well, that's so, great. Yeah. I'm nervous about this mic situation, Rachel. Yeah. Uh, is people still saying, has it gotten any better? Yep. We changed the batteries out. We, we've done everything we know how to do. Your levels are still fine over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello. Can you turn it off and back on, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. Thank you all for letting us know, though. Just muffled, Gomer said. Okay. On and off, Colleen said. Testing, testing. Hello. Hello. Hi, little Mike. Hi, little Mike. I'm trying to see, like, what's going on. Okay, sounds fine. Sounds great now. Okay, so I turned it off and turned it back on. So hopefully it will be okay. It came with this little ball to put over it, but I really, it's like a huge little ball. So we're trying not to have to put those on these. Uh, but we're going to order some smaller ones. So hopefully that doesn't muffle it. Um, we're pretty careful about putting it on. So Rachel, how's everyone saying it is now? Great. Yeah. And y'all okay. let us know if it goes out or not, you know. Definitely. Okay. So we need to get crafting. So today we're going to use two of our new fonts to design this amazing floor mat. Let's share with them the floor mat up close. So here's the floor mat. Um, it says welcome. And I don't know if y'all can read that. Rachel, on the screen, can you read this? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Um, it's just the placement though. Yeah. It's the placement and it's, you know, the colors. Um, in person, you can read this really well. I don't know on camera if you can t as well, probably not as well as you can in person. So this says, welcome the Langstons, which is Rachel's new name after she got married. Yes. We love that. Um, so we're going to be able to design using two different fonts. We're using Muffin and Sierra 
for this. So we're using two of our fonts and we're gonna walk you through downloading that and everything like that. But first, if you're brand new here, um, we do have our year special going on. So click that first link down below and you can join our membership and get your year membership to get access to our fonts. We have videos talking all about that process um, and it's a huge savings, 20% off to be exact. So you guys do not wanna miss out on that. So we're just gonna head on over to the font dashboard and we're going to scroll through and find Muffin and we're going to find Sierra. Yep. So let's find these two right here. Krigger. There's so many to go through, guys. Like you really just need to take some time to download and start using. And so. if it helps, I think Sierra's red. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, here's Muffin. So we're gonna use Muffin. Muffin is what we use for the the Langston's right here. And we're just gonna open this in any font. Yesterday's video teaches you guys exactly how to install these. Um, onto your iPad so that you're able to craft like we do. But again, if you're installing on your PC, if you're installing on your iOS or your Mac, you are gonna be totally, totally fine. Um, it's not like a big process at all, but on the dashboard, we have videos teaching you guys exactly how to um, install the fonts on your desktop. And yesterday's video teaches you how to install them on your iPad. Isn't that great, Rachel? Like we're giving yeah. you all the ways to get these fonts. Yes, we're trying to set you all up for success no matter what kind of, you know, thing you use. Definitely. So open in any font. We just downloaded Sierra and we're just going through the same process. As you can see, it is very quick. And where do we get the mat, Tanner? <gasps> we got this at Target and not only Target, but the Target dollar spot. I want to say this is like $3. I don't really know for sure. Don't quote me. Um, but it's pretty affordable. So we just downloaded both of those fonts. Okay, guys, like it's pretty, pretty simple. And Rachel, I just realized that we're gonna do a, a little bit of a design space tutorial. Would you come over here and zoom this in? Wait, wait, I think I, oh no, wrong way. There you go. Oh, the tippy toes, I'm shaking. Okay. Oh, the tippy toes, <laughs> good job. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, I'm going to move this so it's less distracting. Um, we are now going to be in design space and we're gonna walk you through exactly how to access the fonts. So we just downloaded these two. So that means since we downloaded it, we are now going to restart Design Space if you were previously in it. So as you can see here, you know, Design Space right here, we're closing out some of these tabs and then we're gonna relaunch Cricut Design Space. And that is just going to refresh the system so we can see our system fonts in Design Space. So we're gonna click New Project, we're gonna replace, we're going to click text and we're gonna start out with muffin. And oops, we're under Cricut. So if you can't find the font, you know, you need to search under system or all and you can see muffin right here. Rachel, who should we make this one for? What what family? Should do we the Kriggers. Well, they're the Kriggers, which is another one of our good friends. Um, the Kriggers. And oops, so cute. I love I that love font. That. I do too. So I'm going to do this in two separate ones and you'll see why here in a second. Um, oops. So we have the, and then we're going to do triggers. And that way it's just easier for us to play around with these and space those out. And then we have, you know, this right here. And then we're going to click text and find Sierra. And we have it right here. And we're just going to top in welcome. All right, so now let's take a moment. Notice welcome looks a heck of a lot different here than it looks on the map. And that's because we need to clean it up. So let me share with you. First, take a look at this. You're going to see welcome, the Kriggers. But then if you look on our beautiful finished project, you're like, Tanner, this font looks 10 out of 10 compared to how it looks in design space, right? Yeah. Well, we need to work in a few different areas to clean this up. This is what we call kerning. This is what we call, you know, playing around with the text to make it exactly what we want. Um, and I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to do that in today's video. Isn't that awesome? I'm super excited. So are there any questions? Any, oh, we anything have going lots on before we jump into this next part of the tutorial? Yes. Okay. Let's see here. 
Uh, where'd we get the mat? We got it at Target. Target. Everybody said they love the dollar spot. Yay. Um, Tracy says, do we know when the PDF for fonts will be available? Uh, we're working on it. It'll be out probably like next week. Like, don't worry about it. Like, we're, we're working as hard as we can. <laughs> And Faith, this is a very frequently asked Ooh, question. Is there a question. file that includes uh, all the fonts instead of individually downloading them? Uh, no, you need to download individually the fonts. So pick out the fonts you want to use. Remember, all year members have access to the font dashboard. So please pick out the fonts you would like, download those, install them as you use them. So we'll have that PDF. It's going to be a great reference for you guys to print out and be able to organize for your crafting a lot better. So stay tuned. We'll probably have that out next week. And where can people go with their troubleshoot questions? That's a great question. If you're having uh, trouble accessing your account, if you have um, specific questions, be sure to use the email or contact form link down below in the description or send us an email, hi at makerswantolearn.com. We have customer service from A to Z, to C to Z, every single day. So super awesome. Uh, and Kathy says your mic's going in and out again. Oh, I haven't no. got any more comments about that, but keep us updated, guys. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Um, all right, back to back to crafting. Um, I'm so sorry about the mic. Is the mic? Still yep, mic cut out again. Rachel, mic give, out. give me your mic. <laughs> okay. Get, just give me your mic. Um, so yeah, let's trade these out. Don't don't switch to this camera. I'm yet. not. Oh, perfect. Sw let's switch out. I'm gonna turn mine off. Just right. keep yours off. There ain't no point in me putting on a mic that goes in and out. You never know. Did you leave yours on? Is yours still on? Yeah. Perfect. Hi, friends. All right, Rachel has lost. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm throwing the mic everywhere. Hi, friends. Um, let's see if I cause this to be a mic issue, too. <laughs> um, I know, right? So I'm just going to leave this cord, Rachel, because I don't have time to, to clip it. So I'm going to clip this. We've got to get back to crafting. This is a hold up. This is a technical. Oh, no. This is a technical glitch I cannot take to happen. So, okay, guys, we are back. Is everything going well? Can people hear me? Um, it's like a 30 second delay. So, what's everyone saying? I'll let you know. <laughs> let me know. Um, all right, so we are back with welcome. So, we're just going to position the Kriggers here real quick. And we're not even worried yet about the actual size. We're going to worry about that here in a little bit. Um, but we just want to make this welcome look like our project. So, you see here, this is definitely, this font looks a lot more appealing than how we have it here. So what we need to do is first let's open up edit and you can see there's letter space. We're going to click on that and we're just going to start sizing it down. So you want these letters to kind of start overlapping. As you can see here, let me show you what's going to happen. So now the W E L looks a little off, but if you, as you see, C O M E looks a lot better, right, Rachel? Mm -hmm, like yeah. there's a little bit more formatting that we need to do. I forgot Rachel lost her mic. How am I doing over there? They're saying it's great now. Beautiful. We'll work on that. Um, so now what we need to do is just unattach or ungroup. So we're gonna ungroup each layer, so each letter. And we already know we're not going to change welcome anymore. Um, if this is something you're going to change or you know you may need to edit, duplicate the layer, then start playing around with kerning it. But we know it's all perfect on our, our end. We're going to click ungroup. So if you open up layers, let me actually go back. Um, no, but I haven't ungrouped it yet. So we have it selected. We're going to click ungroup. And when you do that, look what happens to the layers panel. Each Whoa. letter becomes its own layer. Okay. So that means we're able to take and highlight, say, C-O-M-E, and kind of just move it where we want it. You know what I mean? So we're going to be able to kind of move this down and let it overlap. Now, as you can see, do you see these yellow lines, guys? That is um, what we call, uh, it kind of has smart guides. I love smart guides when I'm crafting. But when you're doing this, let's turn smart guides off just so we have a little bit more control of placing things where we want it. So that is where the L needs to be. So all of these letters are placed kind of in line. And what we can do, let's kind of move this up and follow, you know, that inch line right there, okay? So now what we need to do is select the W E and kind of bring that down some. So let's select both of these letters and we're just going to move it down. And you know what? The W looks really good, but that E just looks a little, a little tall. Um, 
So what we're going to do is sort of play around with it and bring that E down. And that looks a lot better. But now we have that W and we really want it to connect more. So what we can do is kind of play around with the W. You can unlock it and kind of swivel it up over, you know, anything like that and bring it down some more. It's kind of up to you. I think this looks a lot better. Um, and this is what you consider kerning. So we've kerned the font and it looks a lot different than before. So you're able to do this with any font, guys. You're able to do this with all of our fonts and you're able to take something um, that looks a lot, you know, not, not too visually appealing and bring it together like true words with your scripts and things like that. So now watch what happens if we're like, okay, oh my gosh, this looks great on the app. Let's go and make it like I'm done. If you press make it right now and we zoom in, you're going to see each letter. I don't know how well you all can see that. Let me see if I can brighten this up. Um, oops. I don't know if you all can see that. Each letter is just all over the place. And that's because we did not group and weld these together. Now, if you just go through and select all of these different letters and attach those, it's going to still cut out each letter and be able to remove it. Just like a paper clip um, keeps all the letter or pages together, it does not, you know, weld it. So what we need to do is select our letters W E L C O M E. Yes. Did you use a lowercase W? Um, I have no idea. Or it, I think there's. I only used one, so we can double check. So is this W different? <gasps> this W is different. Should we use a double? Oh, yeah. I think. I would. I would uppercase it. I think we. You did use the uppercase. Look at this W. You used a lowercase. Did I? Mm -hmm. Let me look. No. Look, the curly Q is not on the map. The very, the curly Q on the very end of the W. Oh, this is a lowercase one. This was a double lowercase. Because look at, that's an uppercase, and then we have this lowercase. See what I mean? Like those are two oh, different. Yeah. So, okay, so Tanner is using the uppercase, right? The uppercase, and yeah, okay. On this project, I think we used a lowercase. Lower gotcha. So it does look a little bit different. I think I prefer the uppercase. Um, so anyway, that's fine. We just got some questions with you. Great. Things. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and Cricut always will all, like auto uppercase that first letter. Um, so if you do want that lowercase, you can decide which is which. That's why we had to manipulate this a little bit more than we had to on this one. But I just like the, I like that little curly a little bit more for this one. So anyway, now what we're going to do is select all of these. We're going to click actions and we're going to select weld. Now, if you notice when we had all of those, when we ungrouped it, each letter was its own layer. So if we go back, if we click edit, um, or if we click actions, excuse me, where's the undo button here? I've lost my undo button. Hmm. I swore. Down the bottom. Do you see it? Yeah. You see the undo button right now. Oh, I see it too. Oh my gosh. That's so freaking funny. So we click undo, you're going to see here, all of these letters are still its own. And then when you have it highlighted and you press weld, you are welding it together and it all becomes one layer. All right, so quick little lesson there. What questions do we have about this process um, right now? We have no questions on the process. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is on here, you can kind of see we've centered the name in between, you know, a little bit over um, right here in the middle, we're going to do that same thing. Now, here's a tip. You can select both of these, and I wonder if we can do this on the app. So, yes, so we're going to select both of these right here, and we're going to click, well, first, let's group these together. Perfect. So we're going to highlight these two, and we're going to just click weld or actually I want this a little bit closer. Don't you think Rachel? Mm -hmm. So I think that looks really good. Um, so now what we're going to do, line these up on here and then we're going to group these together. And actually I'm just gonna weld that just because we know it's perfect. So now we can select both of these two layers. We only have two layers now. We're going to select edit, align, and then we're going to click Align Center. 
So we've centered that right there and not a line center. We're gonna click this first center right up here at the top. That's what I ended up clicking. So now it's over top of each other, but watch what we're going to do. I'm gonna turn Smart Guides back on. This is where I, Smart Guides comes in handy. And we're just going to bring it down, bring it down. And now we know this is completely still in the center. Isn't that awesome, Rachel? Yeah. And what I'm realizing now is I want the Kriggers to be a little bit smaller. Don't you think so? Yeah. So let's size that down just a tad. Well, like the difference is, is the welcome is 18 inches uh -huh. wide and the Kriggers is 10 inches wide. Perfect. So Four inches on each side. Okay, so 3.5, are you saying it should be a little bit bigger? For four? For four wide? Sure. Perfect. And then this one would be how, how wide? It's 18 inches wide for the welcome and 10 inches wide for the Kriegers. Awesome. Four inch hangover under the welcome is what I'm hearing. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. So now we're going to size this up. This is taking a second because we're going to go ahead and size these two. Um, separately um, so we have the proper sizes because we have sized these so i'm going to size this up you can always take a second and measure how wide you want it so that's what we have been able to do this is 18 like rachel was saying so we're going to go ahead and type in 18.00 and you can see it gets really large so all we need to do is zoom out and then you can come down here and decide you know how wide you want this it's only 10. so we're going to select that second layer and type in 10. And guys, working with fonts can be a little bit more, you know, work. So now that they're sized properly, we're gonna do that same process again, align center. And then I'm going to take that Krigger and just with that smart guide, bring it down. Oh. Oh yeah, Rachel doesn't have a mic anymore. I stole Rachel's mic. They're all saying for me to speak up, it's hard. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel can't talk right now, sorry guys. Um, I took her mic, mine's not working. Um, so, all right, were there any questions on this process as we worked through like two or three different scenarios? Stephanie said, what is the difference between attach and weld? So, so uh, Stephanie asked, what's the difference between attach and weld? Since Rachel doesn't have a mic, I'm repeating what she says to make sure everyone can hear Rachel. Um, great question. So, if you look here, we've welded this together, meaning this welcome is now one layer. It is not each letter still is their own individual layer. If we cut that on the mat and it was only attached, it would cut all together, but it would, I would still be able to pick up that W, Stephanie. I would still be able to pick up that L and remove it from this format. When you weld this together, it becomes one true image. And you know, you can see here, there's no cuts in the middle of each letter. It's one solid image. So, Hope that answers your question. That is a fantastic question, and you need to understand that um, when you are crafting with your Cricut. Um, that's a big, a big deal. People, um, I don't think, take enough time to understand. So, are there any other questions related uh, to the project? And Alicia are saying they learned something new. So that's Yay! Great. I'm so glad you all learned something new, and that's what we're super excited about with the fonts. There are more um, exclusive member-only videos coming with these projects. So stay tuned. Get your year membership, 20% off. We love it. So super awesome. We formatted this exactly how we want it. I think it looks beautiful. And this is a great example of taking two fonts and bringing them together. So we're going to click make it and we're going to replace and it's letting us know we're using a 12 by 20 format today because we're making a really big project. So you can still see here that it's going to cut in two separate images. So what we need to do now that this is all finalized, still select both layers we need to go through and weld that because if we just have it as it is, it'll cut to save the most on the mat. We don't want that today. So since this is iron on, now we can click make it replace. And it's gonna cut exactly how we saw it on the app, on the canvas. So Rachel, this is awesome. And since uh -huh. we're using iron on, we're going to click mirror because we're using iron on today. We're gonna press continue. We're gonna click connect to our Cricut Maker. And remember guys, you can use your Cricut Explorer 2, you can use your Cricut Explorer Air, we are just cutting iron on. So anyone can take part in this awesome, awesome project. And Penny wants to know um, the discount code for Cricut.com. That's a great question, Penny. Um, if you would like to use our shop.cricut.com link down below, that is the second best way to support everything we do here. So if you use that link down below, that is the only true way we get credit. Um, and that is no cost to you. 
and then you can use the code makers or excuse me use the code MGL that is stands for makers gonna learn so MGL three letters and that will give you 10% off your order as well as 10% off your order over 50 dollars as well as free shipping but it has to be an order over 50 I believe um, they changed it on us so now we're going to select iron on and then we're going to give that a little bit more pressure this is where you change that we love more pressure, we love more pressure. Rachel I hate that your mic's not working or my, or my mic's not working so you lost you lost your mic I'm sorry Oh, I doubt it. Um, so we're going to load that in. We can always just let you come back here and craft. I could sit down. Oh, you want to? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome, guys. So after we've loaded that in, make sure you have your iron-on material shiny side down. So if you're brand new here, we have some newbies. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time watching live, shoot us up a comment. We want to welcome you to our community. Um, but when you're working with iron-on, you mirror it. And the reason why is because iron-on comes with built-in transfer tape. So you can kind of see here. Look at how shiny this is compared to here. Um, super shiny. You put that shiny side down onto your mat and then you cut it reverse. So we're going to weed it and then flip it over and it's going to have built in transfer tape. Awesome. You understand? So we're going to turn fast mode on because this is a pretty big project, right? Um, and we're going to press that flashing cricket button. And bags sale. Hey. So with the 20% off sale, if somebody goes and gets a monthly membership, is it only 20% off for that month? No, that's a great question. So the question is, um, if you use the 20% off link down below, sign up for a month, six month, or yearly, is it only for that first month? You're, um, that's a great question. It, you get grandfathered in at the rate you join at. We never increase prices on you guys. So if you sign up for a year membership today, your next year, you're going to still get that 20% off. You get grandfathered in at the rate you join at. Um, so yes, that's a great question. It's that discount that keeps on giving because you acted during one of these amazing sales. And remember guys, we're celebrating 20% off because of our font launch. So we've been able to launch over 80 amazing fonts for you guys to craft with and make amazing custom gifts like the one you see here today. So if you guys are super excited about that, be sure to use that first link down below and get your membership today. You are not going to want to miss out on our 80 plus fonts, our over 700 um, cut file, digital cut file library, as well as printable guides like our Cricut printable guide where we give you guys terminology. I mean, this thing has everything in it. We've got terminology, uh, lots of things for beginners. So if you guys are a Cricut beginner, um, Cricut newbie out there, you are going to love our year membership. You're going to get everything you need because we also give two amazing e-courses that has over 30 videos each teaching you how to use Design Space and how to use your Cricut Maker, okay? And then in addition, if you are someone that's like, I know how to use the Cricut, I'm so happy, um, you also get access to the fonts, the die cutting library with over 700 files, but you also get a course on how to build a business through die cutting. So it's well over three or four hundred dollars of value, Rachel. Like our membership has such a huge value um, and it's a gift that keeps on giving. We have a member only Facebook group. We have over 2,000 members that love their die cutting machine. And if you love your die cutting machine, you're gonna love the membership. It's just, it's a fact. So it's, we've cut. It's already, it's already cut out. Look at that. We gave some information, answered a question, and we are already been able to cut this out. So super, super awesome. We've got some more questions. Rachel, give me the questions. Belinda wanted to know if there was a light grip 12 by 24 mat, and there is. There is. Yes, there is a light grip 12 by 24 mat, Belinda. Great question. We love our 12 by 24 mats. And we, all, we have two of the same questions. Awesome. Let's ask. And Like, what's the difference between the monthly membership and the yearly? Do they get the same thing? That's a great question. So, guys, we do not, um, we have a different, there's differences in our tiers. So, our monthly and six-month membership only gets access to our digital cut file library and our Facebook group and the things that go along with that. Our year members get the bonus e-courses and the fonts. That's well over $200 of additional value. It's $150 in e-courses alone, and then you get access to the fonts. So we really pour into those year members, 
And the reason why is because it costs so much to develop all of the content and the videos and the fonts that um, we have a lot of people join our membership for a month, download, say our cut file library, and then leave. So this is a great way for you guys to invest in us and we invest in you. So yes, there's a huge difference. There's lots of people that have been upgrading, especially this month um, to yearly because they want access to that font library. So great can, question. Um, can monthly members um, upgrade to yearly? Of course, what you need to do if you're a monthly member today and you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna make these awesome gifts, just like Tanner and Rachel, all you need to do is use the link down below get your year membership, send us an email, and we will give you the instructions to cancel out that monthly billing cycle. So you do not get charged monthly again because you're now yearly. You're going to be getting to enjoy that every single month. We were talking about it yesterday. If you are, you know, someone like me, it's January, it's time to budget. I put all my memberships on yearly because first of all, you get that financial incentive. You're getting three months free compared to being a monthly member. And you know you're going to want to be a member every month because we have a new die cutting collection every single month um, and new fonts coming out. So you're of course wanting that, um, but you get three months free compared to being a monthly member for a year. So financial incentive, and then you don't have to include it in your monthly you know, budget when you're budgeting your car payments, your gas, your mortgage, things like that, which we love. You don't even have to think about it. You don't. Um, ma the maker, all Cricut machines do work with Android, but if what you'll notice is that the app is not as advanced on Android as it is on the desktop and iOS. So that is a limitation. Um, I still recommend if you're going with Cricut to get the maker because that is going to give you the most ability to do as many projects as you can. So with all the adaptive tools and things like that. So great question. And Cheryl wants to know if she has to have a larger mount for this project. Um, Cheryl, no, you can size it down, but you would only be working with the 12 by 24. So um, with this floor mat, um, you know, it's a pretty big, we cut ours at 18 inches. So it would be, you know, quite a few an additional six inches you would need um, to make it the size we are. But I mean, there's plenty of floor mats. You can make smaller. Um, we have a video on how to make off the mat projects. So bigger than mat projects. You could follow that same tutorial. It's a video on our channel um, to use that 12 by 12 mat to cut this at 18 inches. Wouldn't that be a great video for her, Rachel? That would, that'd be awesome. So what that video teaches is in Design Space how to say cut this and make it um, two layers. So it would teach you maybe cut it at 11.5, slice it, and then you would cut this part on another mat um, and you wouldn't have to purchase a 12 by 24 mat. That's a great question. Yeah. You all have such so many amazing questions today that I think are super relevant. Yeah. And Peggy. Hey, Peggy. Says she loves all of the fun. Yay. So glad you did, That's wonderful. How's that purse treating you, Peggy? Let us know. Yeah. And uh, Bella says, is it just me or isn't it so good just to watch him weed? <laughs> I love that, Bella. Now, Rachel, what temperature did we use when we were making this project? 330 perfect so we're gonna use 330 and again this is that thicker material so this is gonna require a lot more um, what we call pressure just because it's thicker it's thicker than normal canvas um, you know so it has some texture on it so we definitely want that to be a nice thick um, situation so we're gonna pull this up and this is what I meant guys when you talk about um, having transfer tape built in with iron on one of the reasons why it's much more expensive than vinyl Look at this, look at this. Oh, look at this, look at this. Super awesome. So we don't need our 12 by 24 mat anymore. I'm gonna sit that over here. And what we're going to do is take this off right here. This is the rug we got, guys, so you can see um, what collection it's from. It's at. literally just called rug. It's called rug. It's, it's called rug. It's one count. It's a uh, 30 inch by 18 inch rug, and we love it. So. There's a price, $5, $5 at Target, love it. Um, so I thought it was three, but it's definitely well worth the price. I just want to let you guys know. Um, what we're going to do now is get this easy press mat and I'm gonna move my weeding tool. It's a big mat for the table. This is a really big mat, yeah. 
um, for our little our little bitty craft table. So we're going to take this, guys, and start figuring out where we want it positioned. But let's see. Let's move this over. I have the perfect middle line right here because it was already folded, so that's wonderful. And we have a line going here, too, so we can really center this um, right now. So what we can do is fold this, meet in the middle, give that a little crease, and we'll be able to line that crease up with that middle point. So just like so, I and think. Pam has a great hey, Pam, how we doing? She said, I lost my public job. I love to scrapbook, so I have an old Cricut. What's your opinion about upgrading and making projects to sell as a business? <gasps> That's a great question. We have many, many members in our membership alone that are able to make um, really nice additional income from using their Cricut and doing custom t-shirts, custom mugs, gifts, um, you know, a lot of custom projects. And I think it's wonderful. Um, you really, it's just like any business. Um, you know, it is hard work. You're going to push yourself, but I think it, it definitely is possible, but you have to be a go-getter. You, it will not just come to you. It will not be the easiest thing you'll ever do, but we have a class that is like a five hour intensive teaching you guys what I think is some of the basics and fundamentals of building a business through crafting or die cutting. Um, so I highly recommend that if you're a year member of our membership, um, that comes to you free. You can buy it separate if you want, um, but it's a really great one. But there's so much free content out online too if you guys um, need to and can't afford something like that. So yeah. And making your own you know, products to sell is so rewarding. Yeah, you get a lot of rewards. I feel like I have to repeat everything Rachel says because she doesn't have a mic. Rachel was saying that everything that you make um, handmade is so rewarding and especially doing things like this project right here is a perfect example, I have to say. Um, you know, you can customize this for every name, you can customize welcome, you can do something a little bit quirkier, things like that that you couldn't do without a machine like an explorer or a maker. So yeah, what other questions? Listen to what Gomer said. Gomer? I'm happy Tanner isn't cutting out anymore, but it's crazy how quickly I got used to being able to hear Rachel and I miss it. Oh, people's That's missing great. to hear Rachel. I'll be back. She'll be back. We'll fix my mic. I may have to call up that company. Like I said, guys, these mics were not cheap. So we're, we're going to make sure they both work um, since we've only had them for like a week and a half. Um, so, all right, guys, we're taking this big old easy press. This is our 12 by, is it 12 by 16? What, no, 12 by, 10. 12 by 10. Lord help. It's a day. Um, so I'm going to actually, this is going to be funny. I'm going to take the table and bring it down so that I'm able to give a little bit more pressure. And I wish I built this better. I love how you're the easy press there. I'm just, yeah, so it's it's not, I'm bringing my table lower, if you all can tell. I have the Ikea hand crank um, standing desk. It's the best thing ever. So now this is just going to give me more stability to put on my project. And Belinda wants to know. Hey, Belinda. Is it correct that you can also use the design space items that are in access to make things to sell? I'm not 100% sure, Belinda. I do not know or can't speak for Cricut on that. There's a, probably a site that talks about their angel policy on the website that you can learn about that. Great question. So we're going to do four, three, two, one. And then we're going to move over. This is a pretty big project. So we're just going to flip that up. And as you can see here, it's already creating the bubble. So that's really awesome. <clears throat> so we're going to... Go ahead and go through this one too on this oh, side. I, I, I'm dying oh my gosh, what's everyone saying, Rachel? Oh gosh, okay. Gomer. Gomer. Said, my actual name is Kathy. Gomer isn't my given name. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, well, Kathy, Gomer. Kathy or Gomer, whichever one you want to go by here, we do not offend. Like, we, we don't care. Yeah, Kathy. Rachel's going to remember that your name is Kathy Gomer. Promise. <laughs> All right, guys, so we gave a lot of pressure here. And you can sort of see that the bubbles are creating here. Um, I want to just look it over. I'm going to say let this be kind of like that middle decision. Like, do you want to peel it really warm? I'm going to say, like, let it cool for a second or two. I'm not going to really hit the back because, like I said, it's such a thick material, guys. Like, I don't know how well that would help. So look at this. This is really flawless, y'all. Do you know I have to be really intentional when I use the word y'all, Rachel? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I purposely have to think about it. Like, I don't think I say it too, too often, but I, when I do, I think about it. <gasps> Rachel, look at this amazing project, guys. 
I love, 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 love this welcome mat. So now we have two amazing welcome mats. Oh, let me crank my table back up. Do, 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 do. It was super low. So the hand crank IKEA table, perfect for crafting, perfect for live streaming. We love it. Um, and here is our mat. So guys, look how easy. You can get this in different colors. They have a green one. You could do that with some different colored iron on. We love, love, love it. Um, super, super awesome. Um, so much fun being able to make these. Do we have any questions on making this actual project? Like what are people thinking? Let us know in the comments. We don't have a ton of comments about the process, but you explained it very clearly. Great. I feel like I didn't explain it too clearly because we had a lot of if then situations and those sometimes trip me up, but I hope you guys were able to learn exactly how to make this project. Um, Bailey wants to know in which part of the state can the classes be taken? And I think they're talking about the sun. That's a great question. So you're able to, um, be you're able to go all of our classes are virtual so they're international wherever you are you can find us with our membership our courses our summits everything like that is everything going okay Rachel? oh yeah oh perfect <laughs> um no worries <laughs> um but yeah so we have all of our classes virtual so you are able to take those wherever you may be in the states international anything like that so super super awesome what other questions do we have Pat said, good luck with your surgery today. She Thanks, Pat. You thank you, thank you, thank you, Pat. We really appreciate it. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, this is a great project. Again, for fonts, if you all are ready to make the same project, head to Target, grab your mat, grab your favorite iron-on. We used Muffin and Sierra. So this top font, Welcome, is Sierra, and then the, um, the family name is Muffin. So super, super awesome. You guys are going to love making these. They're super easy to make, um, and you could do these in multiple different ways. And Pam says, Hey, Pam. Pam is the same uh, lady who was asking about building a business. Yes, Pam. She says, I believe I'm going to take the plunge and go ahead and get a yearly membership and get a discount and get a cricket in a few weeks. Would <gasps> that work? That would be perfect, Pam. And that's actually really great. If any of you are out there considering getting a cricket, we had multiple people take advantage of our last sale, which was right before Christmas. Um, and get our membership so that when their Christmas, their, tr their cricket was under their tree, they already knew how to use it. They already knew the software and things like that. So we highly recommend getting that membership, learning the machine, learning how to make the projects and design them like we did today. So that when you get your machine, Pam, you're going to be able to enjoy it from start to finish without feeling too overwhelmed. So I highly recommend that you're going to love the videos. You're going to love the cut files. You're going to have like 20 projects planned out before you even get your machine, which I'm super excited for. I got my first Cricut in 2010. And let me tell you, when I ordered mine off of HSN, because I was like one of the only places to get it. That was before Amazon. That was before I knew what a Michaels was. Um, I spent like two weeks before I got it, after I ordered it, um, planning out projects, watching videos, doing the things you guys are doing today. And it was such a helpful thing. So that's why we've built this membership. We've been using crickets and die cutting machines for nine years now. I'm going to be celebrating um, nine years on YouTube in March, which is a little crazy. Um, but yeah, so I highly recommend that, Pam. Great idea. And Karen. Hey, Karen. She says, um, anybody else love the long goodbye waves Tanner gives us? Listen, listen. Tell us why. I have to give the long goodbye waves because we don't know from the time we press the, the end button on the live stream to when the video actually ends. It's very confusing. Sometimes it cuts you off. Sometimes it cuts me off sooner. Sometimes it leaves the wave. We never know. Um, so hope you guys are enjoying those. I just like to wave into the camera and things like that. But if you guys tuned in late and you may not already know, we have a 20% off sale at Makers Gonna Learn. We've been so focused on the project. I hope you all are proud of me. I haven't been talking about it too much as we get some comments saying I talk about it too much. But remember, it's the number one way to support everything we do here. Unfortunately, Rachel won't work for free yet. Yeah. I'm trying to improve her job every single day to get her to work for free. Wow. It's been a battle. I'm not doing too well. <laughs> so we have to pay Rachel um, to sit here and put up with me um, and all the questions, right? Like. She's not going to do this for fun. Um, but anyway, if you guys would like to join the membership, be sure to click that first link down below. You can see here the comments. You open this up. This first link, you don't have to do anything besides click it, and you're able to get access to our font library, 
of 80 plus fonts, our digital cut files and everything. So join before January 28th. That's when the offer ends. If you want fonts, if you want yearly, the best value, just click right now on that blue button and it'll take you to PayPal. And if you don't have a PayPal account, click the gray button. If you have a PayPal account, click the yellow button and that will take you straight through that process, which is wonderful. And you can see on the site, we have a few different tiers, but I wanna let you guys know our year tier is the is the best. Like if you want the everything, you want the year membership. And this is what I was talking about, the financial incentive to be yearly versus monthly. You can see those numbers and you can see that it's three months free. So yeah, super, super fun. We love it, love it, love it, love it. We have a bunch of questions. We've got a bunch of questions. Bunch of questions. Ooh, let me know what the Tyler questions says, are. Where did you get the windbreaker that you used the scallop monograms on? And that was from five below. Uh, yeah, we used it from Fob Below and it took iron on really, really well. So yeah, it's a great question. We use um, Sportflex. Sportflex. You do want to use Sportflex for that because it is a special, special type of material. Michelle wants to know hey, what you Michelle. Ooh, I got some t-shirts. I got some decor. Um, got some little craft supplies here and there. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Um, says, same old stuff. What type of vinyl have you used for this mat? I use traditional iron on. So everyday iron on. Um, you could do use whatever you feel is prop um, would be best, but this is what we used. Um, and then you could seal this. You could put some, you know, cover over it, depending on what you want, things like that. Yeah, that's what, that was another question of, you know, if there's any type of heavy duty or something. You could do yeah, that. yeah. It, it depends on where you're placing this. Like we would probably follow this process. Um, if we're going to use this outside, I would have probably used a vinyl and then use some type of fabric paint and probably use like a white mat or you know a dark mat with white paint or something like that um this is something that you're probably going to want to put somewhere that um, isn't too high traffic and things like that but it is you know from the dollar spot and it's a little bit thinner so take and, what you get uh, barbara said it was so sweet Hi, i got barbara. my membership on tuesday so glad i did it downloaded the guide right now and i'm putting it together with shoe protection yay barbara so happy you got your membership and your guide you guys are going to love this love 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 this this is a bonus we gave out Guys, January has been the month of giving. Like we signed up so many members in November and December that I hope you guys, if you join then or you're joining now, are enjoying it. And the more members we have means the more time and energy we're putting into delivering you guys amazing things, which is so hard to think about because we already are working on so many things, but we have so many more things we wanna do. So definitely get your year membership and be able to enjoy your guide, your fonts, your digital cut files. The member only Facebook group is amazing and it's so much fun. Wants to know, hey Penny. Can we use the discount code to purchase a machine, or does it only apply to materials? It only it doesn't apply apply to machines. I do not believe. I'm not sure. You can try it, um, but I think it uh, works on like it. I don't think it works on anything that plugs in. I think is how someone explained it. Um, so yes, I think just materials and things like that, like additional tools. That's a good way to that's, yeah, that's a great question. Um, thanks, Penny. That's but. All all right, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Um, enjoy your Thursday, and if I don't see you tomorrow, enjoy your weekend. Stay crafty. Be sure to take advantage of that 20% off sale because I know you guys love a good bargain. Um, and have fun getting crafty with the fonts. Please post in the Facebook group what all you all are making. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. 